Hey guys, welcome back to Trending Tense. Today we're going to be looking at the truth about Donald Trump's youngest son. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss any of our banger uploads. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Unlike his famous siblings, Donald Trump's largest son largely stays out of the spotlight. We all might know who Donald Trump is. He's the owner of the Trump Organization and the 45th President of the United States. So Barron Trump is his youngest son, and he's the son of his last wife, Melania Trump. Barron's two older brothers, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, are the children of his first wife, and are often in the spotlight due to their leadership in the Trump Organization. And Ivanka Trump, who is the eldest Trump daughter, she's an official assistant to the president, and her husband is a senior advisor. All three of the elder Trump children, except for Barron, made appearances during their father's campaign, as they spoke both in the 2016 and the 2020 RNC. At each convention, the siblings were joined by their sister, Tiffany Trump, from 45th marriage to Marla Maples, who made speeches supporting her father. We could see in most of these political events that Barron won't be noticed in the spotlight since maybe he is the youngest kid in the Trump family, but he does live in the White House, or he did, which makes Barron Trump one of the only first boys to have ever lived in the prestigious building. At number 9, Donald Trump's youngest son and Melania Trump speak her native language, Slovenian, together. Did you know this child could speak multilingually? It's surprising to know that he speaks both Slovenian and English, thanks to his mother's native country and language. In the book The Art of Her Deal, a book about Melania Trump and her life by Mary Jordan, it's been revealed that Barron continues to speak to his mother in Slovenian to this day. This even happens in front of the Secret Service, a unique fact of life in the White House. Jordan told CBS News, There's a unit within the family unit, and it's Melania, her mother, her father, and Barron, and they all speak Slovenian. That means it's obvious that no one in the Secret Service would understand them. Jordan even revealed that when Barron and Melania speak Slovenian, Donald Trump gets annoyed sometimes since he doesn't know what they're saying. In 2009, Barron's mother said to the people that Barron Trump also speaks French, making him at the time a trilingual toddler. At number 8, his youngest son appears to be a sneakerhead. When you see Barron most of the time, you'll recognize he's wearing sneakers. There's no doubt to say that he's a sneakerhead since we caught him on most of the occasions in recent years and has been spotted wearing pairs of sneakers. This photo was taken in 2020 wearing the sneakers in black, paired with black jeans and a bomber jacket. He was also spotted in 2019 in a Thanksgiving festival, wearing an all-black edition of the sneakers. Finally, in March of 2019, Barron was seen wearing a camel-colored version of the same style after wearing a gray and white pair the year before. After moving into the White House, he made sneakers one of his notable fashion statements. According to Footwear News, he's a huge fan of the 574 core sneakers from New Balance. And number 7. Former first children have defended Donald Trump's youngest son against critics and trolls. Criticism of Barron's appearance and demeanor started as early as his father's inauguration. It was claimed that several former first children defended Barron against those critics and trolls. In 2017, the former first child, Chelsea Clinton, defended Donald Trump's youngest son after the inauguration as it's been shared in a tweet saying, Barron Trump deserves the chance every child does to be a kid. In August of that year, after the Daily Caller criticized his wardrobe, she even stood up for Barron by sharing another tweet saying, It's high time the media and everyone leaves Barron Trump alone and let him have the private childhood he deserves. At number 6, after a growth spurt, Donald Trump's youngest son towers over his dad. Since Barron doesn't appear in public much, any changes in his height are easily detectable and mind-blowing. Many were astonished by his growth spurt in August of 2020, as when Barron Trump appeared from Marine One with his parents. The internet went a little crazy. Some had asked on Twitter whether he's a basketball player, and some even said on Twitter that he must be at the NBA draft instead of being at the White House. At number 5, he's the first boy to live in the White House since JFK Jr. Did you know that Donald's youngest son was the first boy to live in the White House since JFK Jr.? According to CNN, it's been revealed that Donald Trump's youngest son was the first male child to move into the White House since before only two presidential daughters have stayed at the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. President Barack Obama had two daughters, as did President George W. Bush. Before that, President Bill Clinton had a daughter as well. At number 4, Melania has a long-standing nickname. According to Melania, it seems that his son, Barron, likes to be his daddy. Melania declared that he loves his father's career and success and even follows his father's looks and mannerisms, so much that she has a special nickname for him. He is independent and opinionated and knows exactly what he wants, she revealed to parenting via romper. He's a mixture of us in looks, but his personality is why I call him Little Donald. Even the first lady declared in ABC News in 2013, Barron doesn't mind putting on a suit, and that even as a small child he liked to dress up in a tie sometimes, like daddy. At number 3, Donald Trump's youngest son made his television debut on The Oprah Winfrey Show when he was two months old. When Barron was only just two months old, he made his television debut on The Oprah Winfrey Show. 
Oprah's longtime friend, Gail King, interviewed Donald and Melania Trump and asked what it was like to have a baby again after so many years. Donald said, I think it's terrific, and Melania is a fantastic mother. Additionally, Melania told King that Donald was great with the baby and that he spent time with him every morning watching TV and reading newspapers. The three of them got to talking about the name choice. Why Baron? It's a name I always loved, but never really had the courage to use, Donald revealed. After the interview of the baby, Baron Trump was introduced to the world. And number two, Donald Trump's youngest son's passion for soccer is well documented. In 2017, Baron Trump was fortunate enough to meet players from the DC United team and even became a soccer player for the United States Soccer Development Academy and scored a position on DC United's U-12 team as noted by Soccer America. He was very knowledgeable about soccer, knew everything about DC United, and was interested to know more, Mullins told the Washington Post after meeting Barron. For a little kid to have a passion for the game and be knowledgeable and have a conversation with us, it makes me feel good about the kids growing up playing the game. And at number one, Melania is very protective of Barron. Melania Trump has always given the first priority to her son Barron, and when it comes to his son's safety, she's more serious about it. When Stanford law professor Pamela Carlon made a derogatory comment about Barron during his father's impeachment trial, Melania fired back it by a tweet saying, A minor child deserves privacy and should be kept out of politics. She continued, Pamela Carlon, you should be ashamed of your very angry and obviously biased public pandering and using a child to do it. According to CNN, Carlon did apologize for her remarks. This obviously proves how much she's concerned about her son. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Trending Tens, and ring that bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.